Welcome back to another episode of Crow Creations. I'm Dan the Man. It's Jeep Stewart already. Where we left off, I actually had pulled the original bearing out by welding a washer in it just to get a good grab on it and get it out of there. I didn't have a good puller for it. Um, but either way, I was able to get it out by doing this. So I slapped a little bit of a weld around a nice big thick washer. And then pulled it right out. But that's in the last video. So today we're going to be replacing that bearing. We have a Timken J2416. Again, it's a Timken J2416. And uh, I currently do not have a press at home, so this is how we're going to go about this. So the outside of the bearing, I'll show you on the old one, we want to take and press that in. I'm going to use this as my press because it's got a nice surface to touch the nice exterior of the bearing and get it in there where it should be. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to take and use this socket and I have a makeshift press with my jack here. I'm going to use the weight of the frame. It's probably not going to do it. If not, I'll find another way to do it, but I'll show some people how to get around some things if you don't have the correct tools to do the job. Press this bearing in nice and easily. I'm going to take and use a dab of assembly loop around the edge. Don't want to fight it. And I'll lubricate the bearing afterwards, but just a little bit around the edge, just so it'll press in nice and easy. So. As I can tell already, this should hopefully go whoop, fairly, fairly simple. So let's, uh, let's get to it. Make sure you're pressing in nice and evenly. assembled, it'd be heavy enough. I'm going to just take in and drive this in gently with a hammer. Bad hack when you got a light frame that you can pick up by hand. So, get this. So everything's being held nice. Going in nice and evenly. Just about there. I gotta get something else to it's a little more narrow. If this doesn't fit like I want it to, which it won't, that's too close to the inside of that bearing. I'm going to just use the old bearing to finish setting this in. Easy 
easier if I try to do it this way. Recessed like it should be. I'm gonna take and clean any debris out of there. Oh, now that I was just zoomed in on the wrong spot. But now it's in there. There's actually a recess where it's supposed to be. Now I'm gonna go take and flush this on out and uh, get moving on to the next step. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to watch the next video. It'll be coming up in no time. Have a good day.